You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and we are doing the Scooby-Doo Talking Scooby Snacks Maker Mix and Make Delicious Gummy Treats. It includes the mystery van and a Scooby-Doo timer. See that in there? Um, let's check out this side. Here's the nutritional facts for the gummies. And then the back of the box. Uh, different happy kids here, if you notice that. Here, I'll show you again. Different kids than you see on the front of the box. Let's just get a shot of the kids enjoying their Scooby-Doo Scooby Snacks. And then I'll show you, uh, well, the side has the front kids on it. And then uh, different kids here in the back. So pretty neat. Right here it says mix and pour, load up the van, park it in the fridge, and set the timer, eat and enjoy. Well, that's exciting. So let's do it. Let's get it out of the box. Like I said, we just found this uh, like this on eBay, and I saw a bunch more, but this one was at our price point and was complete and original. So there's all the instructions on what we do. Here are the mixes, and then it looks like the twisties on the back. So let me see if I can do this quickly here, get them all out. You know, sometimes I don't show you that whole process, and sometimes I do, but there's that. And what's holding our Scooby-Doo in? Nothing. Cool. There he goes. Careful, Scooby. All right. Let me get this out of here. Now, isn't that the coolest thing? So, let's see. There's a try me off and on. And let's see. Oh, those batteries are shot. Now let's get this out of the bag. Oh, that's some serious tape. There we go. So here's our mystery van. Ooh, neat. See that? Here's the trays inside. That is the coolest thing. And then here's some tools we're going to need. Now it does say to wash everything. I read that earlier on the outside. To make our gummies. And there's some tweezers there. Let's just check out the side of the van. And then we'll take a closer look. Now normally I clear the table, but I'm just going to leave it like this. Because that was a pretty good opening there. Check out the mystery van. Let's move this stuff out of the way. Okay, so this is what we're working with is our storage container because after you um, after you're done, you store everything in the back section. There's the front. I think just having the van and the Scooby would be cool display pieces, huh? There's the Scooby Snacks license plate. Okay, so we know what that's all about. And let's check out our Scooby Dooby Doo. It looks like a belt clip, so you can wear them around the house while you're waiting for your timer to go off. Wow, so it still works after all these years. We'll have to see what the battery compartment's like. And there's this little funnel, two bottles. And then here are the shapes. So you've got the S, look at that, SB, SD, hard to see, Scooby, whatever that is. Scooby Doo, that's what that is, sorry. A skull, the van, ice cream cone. What's this? Oh, that's Scooby Doo that way. Couldn't tell what it was this way. So there you go. Let's, uh, I think next now is for me to get uh, get it all washed up for you and then uh, get some mixing bowls and get set to make some Scooby Snacks. 
here we go. I'm all set. Everything has been thoroughly washed. And as I was washing, I was thinking to myself, this is probably one of the coolest thematic, nicely made sets I've ever seen um, because every item has a character on it. So you've got Scooby-Doo and his little SD tag on the little pinchers. And the funnel where you funnel uh, your flavors in has Scooby-Doo all the way around. It almost looks like one of those dog cones. And then even the water bottle. See, it's got Shaggy by the water line there and then Scooby-Doo on the other side. They're both like that. You have this really cool figure that's electronic. And I didn't notice earlier that was Shaggy inside the tray here uh, as one of the uh, Scooby snacks. So overall, pretty cool. And then you come down to the flavors. They're all thematic with characters on them. You've got Fred here and Velma. And Fred is the super tart sugar. And Velma is the super sweet sugar. And those are supposed to go in the top. See this top here of the van? That is the dipping tray. That's actually step one is to put the sugar in there. But we're going to hold off because I just like the van. The way it is. It just looks cool in the background. Let me get that on there. Okay, so that's on there. And then the other flavors, we have the Scooby-Doo, and there's two of each pack. That is the Rura Orange, and then we have the Shaggy Groovy Lime Sublime, and then we have Daphne's Zany Sour Grape. Pretty cool. So they have all the characters throughout the whole kit. So what I need to do now is uh, start the process. So we're going to take the two sugar packets, we'll leave them off the side, we don't need them, and I'll take one of each of the flavorings and save those because I'm going to make one of each of these. So it's going to be a couple steps here because it said one packet makes one tray. So I'm going to have to freeze it and do it in a couple processes here. Let's start with the zany grape, huh? Let's give Daphne a try. And then the bottles which is nice to have water lines on them. You just fill them with warm water to that line and then it says shake and fill your just and fill your uh, molds. So let me see if they say anything about the molds. Before you begin, wash hands and plastic pieces early before making your Scooby snacks. Keep food preparation area clean and tidy. That's true. See step one was to put the sugar in the back of the van, uh, the lid. I'm not going to do that just yet. And then take one snack shaker and move nozzle and cap Place snack shaker under faucet. Okay, we know we're just going to pour it in from a hot uh, a measuring cup. And then the funnel, see that's where that comes in handy. And you just pour it in there, shake, fill your tray, and then that's when you set the Scooby timer. So let's do this now. I'm going to cut these. Actually, I'm going to do them upside down so I can keep the packs in there real nice. That's why I can keep the Scooby-Doo pack. And it smells good. So let's do that. So there's the water line. Okay. Then put the funnel on. And a neat set. Give you everything you need. And put this in here. Shake really well. Let's do this set first. While I'm shaking, I'll just browse over any of the instructions here, anything that I might have missed. So right now we're immediately replace nozzle and cap and shake mixture until mixture is completely dissolved. And then step five, quickly squeeze mixture into snack trays. One snack shaker will make two trays of Scooby snacks. So I have to do this three times. So I'll do the first one, freeze them, and then I'll show you each process. Why not? Right, you guys want to see it? And girls, I want to see it. So that looks uh, that looks pretty good. Let's just take a sneak peek at it. Yep, makes good. So let me uh, get a better shot here. Did not say anything about filling the trays any particular way. Let's see. 
<laughs> Nothing. Just as quickly in the snack trays. Quickly. Okay. I'm taking too long here. It's starting to set. Looks like I'm going to do fine. Gonna cut back a little bit on these so I make sure I get my full Scooby here. There you go. So they were spot on with that, alright? So what do I do? Well, check this out. Now I take my Scooby timer here and I decide am I going into the freezer or I'm going into the refrigerator. I'm going to go into the refrigerator. Now I'm going to go, well, I'll press the refrigerator. Listen. So that's eight minutes to Scooby snack in time. And then if I hit the freezer, freezer. Five, minutes to Scooby snack in time. five minutes to Scooby snack in time, or I can hit the Scooby sounds. You're my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Scooby. I can't wait to snack. Scooby's hungry. Let's make more. You're the best. Roll for it. This is fun. More, please. I can't wait to snack. More, please. More, please. You're the best. So I'm going to do the refrigerator. Refrigerator. Hey, man, it's the Scooby snack and That gives me time to clean up. And remember now, I put my trays back in my van, my mystery van. And this is how I carry it to the freezer, or refrigerator. I'm going to put these in the fridge. <laughs> and then uh, while I'm gone, yes, I'm going to leave the camera running. Why? Because he keeps talking to you. So you'll hear what he says. And it might be uh, not the full eight minutes. So I'll check back in after I get this in my refrigerator. Alright, in drives the mystery van. It's all set. Let me move Scooby out of the way. Now when I went down the first time, they weren't ready in the fridge. So I quickly moved them to the freezer. And it looks like uh, I tested one just to be certain we are ready to go. So here is the gummies down here. And uh, let me zoom that out so you see everybody here. Scooby, you did a great job. I'm just going to put you on freezer. Let them talk in the background. So the, uh, to get them out now, they want you to use the Scooby Tweezers. That was the one I pre-got out. Okay. So what I did though is I just took a toothpick and ran it around the outside just to... Wow, man, he's such a motivator, isn't he? There, once you kind of get it to a certain point, then you can probably come in with the tweezers. It's not easy either way. I'm going to stick with my original plan. Kind of break that seal underneath. That's a piece of pizza. And then here's the outside of like an ice cream. 
or a chicken, yeah, it's an ice cream cone. So now that you know the whole process, what I'm going to do, I hope the Scooby comes out good. Oh, maybe that will. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Really cool. So I'll finish taking these out. I'm going to stop here probably and edit the video. And I'll show you me mixing the next set, filling, and then we'll just go quickly to the other two flavors till I get all of my gummies out, okay? So I will check back in in just a second. All right, they're all set in the background there. I rinsed my molds out. I'm going to go for the next flavor. But he's such an inspiration back there. They do smell real yummy. Okay, and this time I'm going to fill up and then uh, go to the freezer so we won't do the whole, we won't do the whole Scooby routine, okay? But I like him talking in the background, so I'm just going to let him keep doing that. Now, too, this time I didn't use as hot a water. I'm thinking maybe the first time my water was hot, so the refrigerator... Just wasn't enough time based on the heat of the water. Now, I did say definitely don't use boiling water, hot water. Maybe I had it a little too hot. So I'm just mixing up my mix to see if I get it all mixed well. And you can hear me doing that right over the microphone on the camera. I would say that's pretty good now, so I'm going to fill. I'm guessing, uh, well... I'm not going to cut this out. You probably want to watch it, right? It's a neat process. You're the best. No, you're the best. You're very motivating there, Scooby. It's one thing I like about you. for each one yes which ones are a little light this one the Scooby all right so I'm gonna load up my van and take these to the freezer this time and when I come back I'll just have them all on the molds and we'll Go to the last flavor. Thanks, Scoob. All right, the green ones are done. I'm all set for the last uh, the last mix. This is the the Scooby Doo Rura Orange. All right, so let me uh, cut the bottom off, and they're all coming out really great. Easy to get out of the molds. I just use that toothpick method. So let me fill it with water here. And take the funnel and then I'll pour that in for you and there's Scooby in the background let's get him talking again huh oh that smells good all right so I just mix this last one up you can see it in there and I'll make this last set here. Ooh, I, I washed them, but there was a little green in there. Hmm. See if I can get that out with a toothpick. There you go, that's better. They tapped them off here. A little extra water in those. I rinsed them off each time, and then I wiped them out, but there's a lot of little grooves in there. Now don't forget, I still, to end this video, I'm going to actually take the flavorings and put them in my back of my van and then dip a few of the gummies and see what they uh, see what they look like huh and you're all probably wondering if I'm gonna try one and I'm gonna say yes I am 
and then I'll give you a good close-up of all the different shapes and what they look like, okay? So it's a long video, and uh, I'm having fun, so hope you are too at this point. Here we go. My favorite flavor is grape. Yes, we know you like the grape, Scoob. Got stuck in the stuck in the top there. So it's already starting to harden. Yeah, yummy. You're my best friend. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Again, I think this is probably one of the best design kits I've ever done. Look how nice and easy it is to fill these. They give you the little pour. It's great. Now, you could use any gummy mix you want. So if you get this set, it's probably not going to come with the original mixes. These are the original mixes I'm using. So you can use any gummy flavoring or set and just use the set like I'm using it now. All right, so that's all done. More, yes, there is more. So I'm going to take this to the freezer, and then we'll wrap up the whole video. There you go. I've made all the different flavors and the shapes, I have to say, the molds are really nice. Take a look at that. So those are all my gummies. I left Shaggy and Scooby in the middle. And then everything came out real good. The Scooby-Doo tags came out nice. Yes, they're all stuck to my plate because they're gummies. And then the last step now was to take the lid of the vehicle and put in the different flavorings. So I'm going to just see what they look like and smell them. So the first one is the Velma. Now these are in foil sealed packs. And they seem to be just fine. Now this one is like a sour. This is the Fred pack. Remember Fred? Frederick? That one does have a sour smell to it. And then you were supposed to take your gummy like this and then coat it in the sugar. Oop, flipped over on me. The tweezers just never work in these sets, but now I have a completely coated pizza gummy. Here, what if I grabbed it like that? There, see that? No, you don't see that. There, you see that? It's slipping out. I just ate it. And surprisingly, for the age of this set, it's not bad. But of course, you want to get new gummy mix. You don't want to use the old gummy mix like me. I just like to keep it as original as possible. Ooh, that is good. Show you all the original parts and mixes. You know what? I'm not afraid to eat another one. Let's see. I'm going to eat one of my Scoobies. You know, purple was his favorite. So let me just decorate him a little. And you can see what he looks like all sugared up now. I hope I don't get whacked out on Scooby snacks, huh? Here we go. But remember, oh, grape was his favorite. So overall, this is probably one of the best sets I've ever done because it's very thematic. All the pieces match really cool. It's overall just a fun set to do. And plus you get this cool Scooby timer. So thanks for watching. Oh, it's... Boy, this is fun. Oh boy, this is fun. Thanks, Scooby. Just wanted to show you a close-up of all the different shapes. So I'm adding this at the end of the video because, you know, I'll probably never find the original mixes again. There's a crooked skull. There's the, the van. In the middle, we have Scooby and Shaggy. There's two Scoobies there. Excuse me. There he is. I ate one, of course. And there's the Shaggies there. So this is what they all look like when they were done. Besides the ones I ate. So there you go. 
little inset video. Sometimes I do that. I have an afterthought and think, why not just show them a little more detail of what we made? And thanks for watching. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.